as you know, uh, we were impacted by a tornado about a month ago. And we decided that instead of having the kids walk around these neighborhoods, that they would all be able to come to the school in order to do their Halloween. So they'll be able to go door to door here to go trick or treating, just as they would in the regular neighborhood. And uh, they'll be treated with lots of great candy. There's also tons of activities. We have a movie going. There's face painting for those that don't have costumes, uh, cookie decorating, and, and tons more. Uh, maybe that one up a little bit. Yeah, that was um, we are at the Haunted House right now. It's ran by Student Council and it's just going to be a, a fun little place where kids can come and they can just get scared. But it's not going to be that scary. Me and my friend here, we ended up being in charge of the games and activities. We came up with a lot of the ideas and we've been helping run that so far. None of our activities are really scary. They're mostly just crafts and fun mazes, things like that. They'll be very accessible to all different ages. All of the lovely doors, such as in the, the guidance office and in, in the main office, as well as different classrooms, all have uh, lovely creations made by the students. It's everything from, you know, spooky bats to like Frankenstein cutouts and, and all of that. Um, in the main cafeteria, we have a bunch of activities going on that are run by our business club and our Gay Straight Alliance. Um, we also have uh, decorations just set up around the school that was run by our Muslim Student Association, and the trick or treating itself was run by Students Council. You are looking good, you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Community's holding up pretty good with things like this going on. This is uh, its bringing our community together. It's a beautiful thing. This place is decorated to the nines. Nothing has been let go. Yeah. Nothing at all. Thank you. I know. Everybody left.